Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arrowcraft, where we have entered the early winter, which means it is going to be extremely cold, and that is even though we are in a warmer biome. So that is issue number one, issue number two. Oh, the water is freezing up. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't think crops will grow either. We might... But I don't, I don't think so. Anyway, if you watched the last episode, you will have seen that we defeated our second dragon, a fire dragon, mind you, uh, in this area right here. However, right next to it, there is another fire dragon. It, it's bigger. It's bigger and probably better, but I want to fight it. And the reason why I want to fight it is because there's a village right next doors. And that village not only might have some very useful resources, but it may also have a waystone. Which, if I could activate that waystone, that means if I die and this bed gets obstructed, basically I would spawn somewhere completely different from here. If I just find another waystone, I'll be able to teleport back to that village and be in good shape. However, in order for me to do that, I need to go ahead and craft a few more bolts. Don't know how many, but I think I should be fine with like one and a half stack. I am using quite a bit of iron for this, but I think we'll be all right. I hope. I really, really hope. But yes, I, th I think we should be fine. Only issue is going to be the weather, but I think if I just take this and make some sort of campfire, yep, four logs, and then get a little bit of cobblestone on the way, we should be good. All right, to the battle tower. I'm also going to not forget to use my soul gazer on the nymphs. Very soon, hopefully, I'll be able to summon one. That would be very, very cool. All right. Gotta go this way. In fact, I should get some stone first from up here, maybe? Oh yeah, I can get it from there. Never mind, I can get it from this ruin. That makes things a lot easier. Only issue is, I didn't bring a crafting table, did I? Oh, I did. Sweet. Problem solved. And I might even, in a coming episode, try and enter this thing. I would assume I'm going to die very, very fast and easily, but uh, it might be something that I attempt. However, it could be a very bad idea, I'm not sure. Now I'm climbing this tower yet again in the hopes, uh, in the hopes of potentially being able to shoot the dragon from here. That would be very nice because, well, I don't want to get too close because we, I think we know what happens when you get too close to a dragon where from with an eyes and fire dragon. It's uh, not the best time of your life. So I'm going to head up to the tippity top here and I'm going to look in this direction. So this over there is where the other dragon was. And I'm going to up my render distance, not just eight, not 16. Not 24, but 32. And I'm doing this with shaders on, so frame rate may very well go very quickly downhill. So that's the old dragon place right there. That's the fire from the other dragon, and you can see the dragon pit right there. That's the village. And I don't see a dragon. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's red. Oh, it's red. A little bit of lag. Okay. It's actually very, very close, oh dear me. Uh, I'm, ooh, ooh, it's very close, it's very, very close. Okay, I, I might, I might disable shaders for this one, just for this fight. <laughs> and I'm also dropping down my render distance to 24. Game froze. I think that should be fine, I hope. I can see the dragon, and here we go. Oh. <laughs> Right as I'm about to shoot the first bolt, I I might need to use 32 chunks. Oh, nope, here, oh, okay, there it goes. It leaves me no choice. 30 chunks. Might be able to do it. As soon as I see it, we're going to shoot the first bolt. And hopefully, uh, it, it doesn't show. That is, initiating first shot. I think... That was a hit. I think it was a hit, ladies and gentlemen. It's all... Oh. <laughs> it's so annoying they go out of the... <laughs> the render distance. I do wonder how far this fire is actually going to spread. There it is again. 
All right. I don't think it's going to get too close to me. I hope not at least. It's much bigger than the one we were fighting over here. Anyway, I'm going to come back when something interesting happens. I'm not going to let you uh, go through this entire thing again. These guys are going to be an issue, though. They're going to be an issue. Oh, that is again. Please don't get closer to me. That would be catastrophic. <laughs> uh, yep. I, oh, boy. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I just gotta hope that it hasn't killed the entire uh, village population as well. You better not get any closer, buddy. I am busy saving the world from a dragon. You're too close. This dragon could be a stage four. Like, it looks way bigger than the other ones we've fought so far. And I assume then it will have more health as well. Ugh. I'm going to plop down a crafting table with a campfire to keep me warm. I, however, I don't have any sticks, so I can't actually turn it on. And never mind. The fire is destroying that area of the forest, and we also have fire over here as well. Oh boy. I might need to try and stop the fire so it doesn't get too close to me, but I, th I think it's just going to spread. I think it's going to keep spreading. Anyway, I am almost through the first 33% of my arrows. The sun is about to go down. Yep, almost down to one stack of bolts. I'm hitting it pretty good though. I just have to be patient when it disappears because it does take some time, quite a bit, for it to return. Ooh, actually, we might have a problem. If the fire gets too close and fire monsters start appearing, we are going to have a pretty big issue because then those guys are going to be flying around shooting fire at me as well, which is not going to be good. Bedtime. And then straight back to Dragon Watch duty. Okay, it has decided to stop flying and just sit there behind this tree, which is really, really making it difficult to hit it. But also, at times, a little bit easier. Like that is. Missed. A little bit further up. Hit it. I thought I got it there. I got it again. I th might have gotten it again. I need to really be careful not to miss. Is it taking damage? It, it looked... That looked like it was taking damage, didn't it? How will I know if it's dead or not? <laughs> if it's down there? Yep, not dead. It's still moving. And that fire is getting closer and closer. Don't know if that was a hit or not. Oh, we have an issue. Thankfully it missed. <sighs> Crisis averted. I just realized I have 14... Experience. I should put those into attack so I can start using diamond weaponry. That would be very nice. Oh, it's flying again. All right. Game on. Game on. And I missed my first shot. There we go. It's firing at the village. It's getting close. Oh, wow. It's destroying this place. Well, it's actually pretty close. Hold on. How close was that? That was pretty close. I can hear the dragon wings going. How close was that? Ugh, that was right there. What did I... I'm seeing something over here as well. Something green and also something scorched. Oh, there it is. Come on. I really should learn to preload my crossbow here for these situations. Hit it again. Come on. It's almost dead. It has to be. I also don't want that fire to spread to the village houses. That would also be pretty bad. Guys, I am seeing fire over here spreading as well. That might be another dragon in the area. Like, over here in this region, attacking that area. We are literally surrounded by dragons, as we established a couple of episodes ago. Also, I am running out of bolts pretty quickly. Oh no, please don't. It's coming over. Yep, thought so. I hate wasting. Oh, hello. What are you? What are you? What? It killed me in one hit. What? I have my things? I have my things. I have all my stuff. 
Wow. Okay. I mean, that's... I'll take that, because then I can go ahead and make a couple more bolts. <laughs> that's... Okay. A little bit odd. But again, I'll, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. That's 16 more bolts. I really hope that's going to be a, a you know what? Let's just let's just make all that we can. In fact, that is just one batch of four extras because then I am officially out of feathers. That's fine. All right, let's get to it again. So that chaos monster just killed me in one hit. I thought I would have gotten it. I thought I would have gotten it with that. I'm attacked on the way. Not good. We good? I think we're good. I kind of have to hurry. Well, I actually don't, because I have all my items. Don't know what caused that. I don't know what caused that. Like, I... I know I had game mode keep inventory on for th taking my thumbnails, but... Okay. Now, that wasn't even this in this world. Like, that's my XP. I didn't bring any blocks, though. That might be my bad and something that I need to change. I don't know. Oh well, here I am. It's safe. I would have gotten my items anyway. Now my question is, is that creature going to still be up here? What? Question? No. Answer is no. Dragon is though. No. Please die soon. <laughs> we got it, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. With 17 bolts remaining. We got it. Okay, I can lower the render distance down again, and I can enable the lovely shaders. Right, well, let's pack up. Oh, no, don't drop that. Let's pack up and, well, let's head on over to that place. This is uh, negate some fall damage. Okay, but not all. But I should. This might be it. Ow. Actually, I have a better solution. Well, I had a better solution, but the lake is slowly freezing in. So my solution is no longer valid. Uh, I should be able to make this. <clears throat> or not. Um, anyway, to the dragon slayed area. And we will not worry about that at all. Nope. There it is. And look at the damage. This fire, thankfully, is out. Making this a much easier travel <laughs> through the forest. But... Uh, safer, I should say, but wow, this place is completely burned down. Now, we could have another dragon very close by, so I do need to stay high uh, on high alert here. Get some XP, and I need to extinguish that fire. Oh dear. Uh, can I get rid of this? Oh no, it's spreading. It's spreading, ladies and gentlemen. It's not good. We will definitely take a look at the village as well to see if anyone has survived. <laughs> The dragon attack here, but first Let us take What this dragon has to offer uh, There we go, that's more levels All right dragon heart 31 red dragon scales dragon flesh skull bones Good stuff. I'll take it gladly. All right. It uh, oh, we do have some chests here. We do have some chests I will take it. I'll keep that We'll take the chest. I don't think I will take the gold piles here. I'll come back for that if I really do need it. I do want to exterminate all the fire that we have. Or that I can. Because that could summon some bad things. Well, right. Let's take a close... I hear villagers. I hear villagers. I see one. I see... <laughs> We're not done here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not done here. A second threat has appeared. We have another dragon right next to us. Oh my. This is getting difficult. I'm going to try and see if I can climb up to the top of the roof here. And get a better view. Hopefully without attracting the dragon over. There we go. Take it now. And thankfully, with my jumping skills, this is easy. Oh, it's actually not a full-on village. It's a little bit of an outpost area. That's cool. We can summon those guys as well if we get their knowledge up as well. Um, 
Let's take the rent of the sense to twelve. Two drag two. Uh. Uh, that better not be coming towards me. That better not. Two. Okay. Okay. I need to re strategize this. That would explain the fire in the area, I suppose. Well, I have. Uh, I have lowered the render distance to four, but I don't seem to have an entrance to this place, and I don't dare go in that direction until those dragons are gone. But I want to see if we have some loot that will help us in the fight against those dragons. I will go ahead and do this. Oh, don't lag now, please. Okay, there's a door. Hey, fellas, how's it going? Do we have any loot in here? I'm trying to free you from all the dragons in the area. Do we have any? Ooh. Okay, I want I want iron though. Oh. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> uh, do you guys have any iron? And I could puzzle. Oh, I love that. I love that. Do you guys have any iron that I could possibly get to defeat the dragon? Okay, we do actually have quite a few things here. Arrows. That's not gonna cut though. More normal arrows. I mean, I could use a normal bow. I just don't know. <laughs> Change skirt. Chocolate bar? I'll have a chocolate bar once this is over. I just don't know how many normal arrows I would need for this. I also have a hidden area over here. Ooh, that, there we go. There we go. Healing items. Yes, okay. This episode, we're just killing dragons. That's all we're going to be doing. I'm going to run away. Far, far away. <laughs> I'm going to mark this place on the map, though. I need to add a marker. Where am I again? Right there. Boom. Uh, outpost, I'm going to call it. Let us give it uh, this tower. And let us go ahead and defeat two dragons. More. I'm going to need quite a few bolts for this. Oh, no. My sugarcane farm has disappeared because everything is turning to ice. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so I am faced with a couple of problems. One, my chickens has not produced any more feathers and I don't have any feathers. And I need feathers in order to produce more bolts. What I have figured out though is an iron strength wow. crossbow versus a silver strength crossbow actually doesn't have anything to do with um, damage. So for the iron strength uh, crossbow, for example, the only difference is, well, n nothing, <laughs> nothing. The silver strength of crossbow only requires two, uh, only requires four attack and two agility and two magic, whereas the iron one requires eight and agility four. I don't know if there's something else about that, but I I think I'm going to go with the silver one because it well I can. I can save my iron for the bolts. Oh dear, the quality is clumsy. That is not what I need. That is really not what I need. Um, I made it silver, so I think I can go ahead and do this. Still clumsy, that didn't change anything. Ooh, 10% projectile damage. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Now all I need is feathers. I could sit on AFK. I have three feathers. Right now, however, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make all the bolts that I can. Then I'm not going to bring my iron. <laughs> however, I will bring my normal bow. Oh, I could use this as well. It has power one. Ooh. I, 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 it's probably the same though. I'm going to bring my where is it? Aha, my normal bow as well as arrows, and then I'm just gonna hope for the best with this to be completely honest with you <laughs> all right back here just need to go in grab the arrows that i found get out find a place where i can attack these guys and really just hope for the best i did bring some lock picks oh <laughs> to try and number five number three to try and open this. Oh, wow. This is going really bad. So, three, five, four. Got it. Let's see what we. 
Okay, just books. I was hoping for arrows and whatnot, but nope. Just books. I mean, if I get enough, there's a lot here. I might be able to pull this off. I would hope so. What? <laughs> you know what? I will not ask questions. However, I don't think I was up here. More books. Of course. Oh, a lot of hay bales. Okay. And finally... Uh, no. More arrow. Oh. Okay, this... Mending. Okay, this place is... Perfect. There's so much stuff here. Oh, wow. Okay. I am coming back for this. Uh, I need to liberate these guys first. So I'm not going to do it from here because I risk the dragons attacking here and blowing this place up. I don't want that. So I think I'm going to try and head in that direction of my render distance and hope that I'll be able to spot them from there. So back this way or in this direction. I see one of them already. I see one of them already. Yep. Okay. This is it. This is where I'm going to be doing my attack from. Uh, <laughs> Loading the crossbow. Going to up the render distance to far plus. There's one of them opening fire. That's two of both of them are flying right there. They don't seem so super big. I just need to make sure that I can actually hit them. That's coming for me. That's coming for me. That's coming for me. Yep. I think I got out of it though. Nope. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I hear the wings. I hear the wings. But I also do need to sleep right now. Okay, so that was obviously too close. Not doing it that close again. So maybe I can do it from back here. I just need to be able to see them. That is all there is. Here we go again. I can just barely see it. Hopefully, it's enough. So that I don't get attacked. As long as it keeps flying back and forth like it is doing right now, killing it should be easy. I am officially out of bolts. Time to use my normal air bow and arrow. Oh, I might not even have the range for this. I might not even have the range for this. I might actually not. Let's see. Come on, hit. Nope, I don't think I have the range with normal, with normal bow and arrow. Actually, don't think I do. The dragon just went down. It took damage by something. That's what is that? A bridge? It's still moving. I can't, I can't hit it with iron strength and bow. I actually can't hit it with this. I need to. Oh, it's right there though. Can I hit it with this? Yeah, see, it's just not going. Yeah, I can't do it with this range. Oh, ow. I'm gonna have to. Hmm? Yeah, I'm gonna have to retreat and come up with some way of getting more arrows, I suppose. Or bolts, I should say. Mainly feathers. It has also just occurred to me that I only have four chickens in there because I had 25 seeds and. Well. Uh, I, oh, wait, that's one. That's two. Okay, six chickens in there. Six chickens. That's not a whole lot to produce feathers. I, I have one feather. And I now have hypothermia. I was looking for chickens to kill, but now I have hypothermia. I could die from this. I also just figured that I could actually take some eggs and, well, spam them and get more chickens that way. That is also a possibility. And I am definitely not lacking. Even the ocean shores are freezing up. And what's that? That looks cool. We'll have to take a look at that at some point. Oh, and there's a boat up there as well. Two of them. Oh, wow. I guess we have to sail at some point and explore some of these boats that are out here in the ocean next to us. But for now, I have 13 feathers. And... Eh. Nope. Can't do that yet. And with that, I can make 52 more bolts. I am really running low on iron ingots, but I'm going to give it yet another shot. 
and I do apologize that I'm not playing with the shaders at the moment. I, I need I need to rent the distance. I need to rent the distance and also the frames so I can turn around and run away quick enough without any delays. Yeah, exactly. All right, here we go. We continue, and I missed my first shot. That's not a good start. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the first one. The red dragon has been defeated. Now, I'm down to seven bolts in total, including the one that is in my crossbow. I need... <laughs> oh, oh, that's not good. Eh. That should do. Uh, we still have the orange or yellow, orange slash yellow dragon over there, so I need a couple more bolts before we are victorious completely here. And I'm actually going to stop by the sign here, get a lot of it. All right, this amount of bolts should get the job done. So now all I need to do is go ahead, grab some water, get back to my spot, find the orange dragon, and start shooting. <clears throat> Second attempt. Take two. <clears throat> Take three and start shooting. There we go. All right, this should be done quickly. I also have another problem. I now have hypothermia and I don't have a fire anywhere. This is getting critical. Get a fire up, quick, heal, head. Heal, body, ASAP. Oh no. Yeah, I think I'm dead. <laughs> think I am gone for. Come on, please save me. No. Well, maybe. Next heal in four seconds. Next heal in. Uh, okay, there we go. Huh. It was set to true. That's not supposed to be. That's annoying. All right, well, back here now. I would have gotten my items anyway, and I have the solution for my hypothermia problems. Whoa. Bit, yep, simple as that. And now we get back to it. Problem. Problem. It's, it was like right there when I looked. Ow. Okay, gotta go away. I think this would be far enough away, maybe. Bump it up to 16. I think I'm good. It might have turned around, but it was just a little bit too close for comfort. Get some regen over here real quick for my poor foot. Ah. Uh, that was a lag spike, but what was... That was by the village. No idea what that was. Don't tell me it was that thing. Anyway, continuing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been done. And it died right next to the other red dragon. Whew, 26 bolts remaining. This has been a fight. Wow. But it was a good one. <laughs> Two dra- no wait, three dragons in one video, would you look at that? Alright, time to get the loot and then fully explore that building up there because there are some places that I have not gone to. Now we could have another ice dragon right over here somewhere, but I think that these two have been dealt with. Oh yeah, yep, they spawned like- I think that's a two, like two, like right next to each other, wow. Okay then, just gotta be aware of potential other dragons now. One thing that I have not done yet is bring some glass bottles so I could get some dragon blood. I haven't gotten that from the other previous two uh, fire dragons, but I think I will get it for this one. Don't know how much we actually need, we can use it for weapons, which will increase the, like, what they do a lot. So I think I'm going to just get a ton here. Six fire dragon blood? I'm not gonna get any scales. Well, maybe I should have done it with that because then I could have gotten the, the scales. Anyway, that's fine. I think I'll get a bunch of blue. Well, actually, I don't have any more <laughs> any more glass bottles, so I think I'll just I'll just take the scales, I suppose. Check that the coast is clear. But 
bronze scales do look good, so I will not complain. There we go. And we got enough to get a full set of armor, so I mean... Yeah, that, that's not too bad at all. More experience. Wonderful. Plenty of chests to... Whoa, there's a lot of chests here to go through. Wow. I guess I just gotta start from one end, huh? We got another dragon. <laughs> we got another dragon over here. Uh, That looks like... That's a village. That's a village right there. But we have another fire dragon right there. We will not be dealing with that one today. But that can go on the to-do list. If we can get a lot of iron here, that would definitely bring in what we have used to get to this point. Shaders can now be turned back on, by the way. And I have lowered the render, render distance to 8. No need to risk anything that is not worth it. Uh, can I eat a chocolate bar yet? I cannot. I think I'll leave the gold nuggets here. I'll take... I don't really need the iron armor, to be honest. Uh, I would, well, is there... Ooh, it's actually a better armor. Then I'll take the books. At least I can use those for enchantments. And I have hypothermia, even though I am wearing wool armor. I think it's because I am standing still. If I run around a little bit, that might help the situation. Two diamonds! Oh wow, I did not expect that. Uh, ooh, plus nine. Oh, our also has. Uh, I think these are better though. I think these are better. That chest is locked. Uh, uh, <laughs> quickly get important things. And I would rather not die, so getting back to my fire is probably going to be my priority. Can I not get the books? There we go. And this one is also locked. Okay, I need my I need my lock picks. Ooh, I should be able to get the final knowledge that I need for this. Unlocking knowledge rank two. All right, we'll take a look at that in the next episode because I do want to wrap it up pretty soon. Don't know what that is, but I do want to check out a final area in the place over here that we discovered. Get out of here, zombie. Fellas, the place is secure. What's this? Bounty board. Oh. I can do these bounties and then... Okay, that's cool. Maybe we get new ones when they run out because this one will run out in a minute. That's interesting. Hey, fellas, you're a bit loud. I'm gonna head inside now. Because, yep, hey, fellas, you are now safe. And as such, I have discovered this. Don't know what this is. But it's big. And I can't access these. I can access these, though. Well, some of these. Don't. No, give me my... <laughs> give, me, give me my thing pack. Got a chest here. Okay. Don't know what this is. Decoration, architecture, production, alchemy, brewing. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Um, I need more storage, so I'll come back for all this stuff. Not anything else down here, though. If I do miss anything in this house, by the way, guys, do let me know down below in the comments. Now, moving on to the tower. Oh, this is definitely going to be the... Oh, this is armory. Plenty, plenty of arrows. I assume I can climb this. All the way up to the top. Oh, it's night nice. Who designed this? <laughs> Who designed this? Wow, plenty of arrows. Plenty of arrows. Guys, I think I'm going to call this episode right here. We will be back in this exact place. Because I want to get this loot. And also want to get those locked chests. And I want to get more of... Level these guys up more with my soul gazer. So... With that said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until then... Okay, I thought I heard a dragon. Goodbye. <laughs>